fucking awesome. Hello and welcome to another episode of the journey of your life and today is going to be another weird episode because today I brought a special guest. <laughs> As you can see, I brought a chicken today. Yes, a chicken. And why did I bring a chicken? Because I have a question for the chicken. And the chicken is, why did you cross the road? Mm -hmm. Tell me, why did you cross the road? <clears throat> well, together we're gonna explore that, uh, that question because, well, the chicken had a choice, right? The chicken could decide to stay on his side of the road, uh, flucking with his other chicken friends and doing nothing and chilling and hanging out and don't even go to the, you know, to the side of the road and wondering what's on the other side. But, you know, he decided to cross the road. So why did you do it? Um, to answer that question, I want to tell you a little uh, personal story. Because about five years ago, I uh, was a financial consultant. I had my own business in Holland. I had a nice house and a nice car. And I had a pretty uh, cool life, pretty carefree. No, Care carefree, yeah. Pretty carefree life, not that much stress. I was doing good, um, you know, and I had this urge to hit the reset button of life. So I decided to do that. I decided to sell my company, sell the house, get rid of the car, get rid of most of our personal belongings. My wife quit her job and we started traveling, which is a really great experience if you want to learn and grow and educate yourself and inspire and meet new cultures and people and stuff like that. But there is also a risk that you have a journey into the heart of darkness. And that's exactly what happened to me. Yes, I know, the heart of darkness. Um, which kind of sucks, you know, if you have to experience uh, a journey into the heart of darkness. Because it hurts like hell, I can tell you that. Um, but it also brought me eventually a lot of wisdom. Because I managed to pull myself out of the heart of darkness. And that eventually led us to return back home to Holland in 2019 that was I think and I was you know putting myself back together again because I was a mess at that time and I didn't have much time to do that actually because remember 2019 that's when the fun hit right the pandemic you remember that <coughs> yes that was a lot of fun you know lots of memories of the pandemic Jesus so that kind of really screwed me over you could say um, that didn't leave much room for me to start doing what I used to do which was by that time I already figured out that I wanted to be a storyteller, so I created events and stuff. But, well, as you can probably guess, uh, the pandemic is not an excellent or not a great period to host events. <coughs> yes, really. Um, but, you know, all those things eventually led me to Portugal. Yes, because I was really tired of being in Holland. I didn't want to be there anymore. I just wanted to leave uh, for different reasons. And I'm not going to tell them right now because this video is going to be very long. But eventually, all the questions that I had about my life led me to moving to Portugal, where we are right now. It's pretty nice, right? Yes, yeah, very nice. Especially the sun. Yes, it's great. Um, so we uh, ended up here in Portugal. Um, oh, lots of obstacles to conquer here as well. Lots of dragons to slay, challenges to face. Uh, and that's good. That's fine. You know, that's how I grow and learn and become, well, become a better version of myself. A dragon slayer. A chicken slayer. Yes, a chicken slayer. Um, so that's great, right? So then the question is, well, why do I have the need to constantly change? To constantly um, cross the road? Yes, that's a good one, cross the road, right? Why do I constantly have the need to cross the road? And the answer to that question is, and it's exactly the same answer to the question to why did the chicken cross the road? Yes, is because the chicken thought life would be better on the other side. And what is better? You know, what is better? You can look at it from a financial, economical, spiritual, emotional point of view, I guess. But for me, I'm looking at it from a point of experiencing stuff. And that's how I grow. That's how I learn by meeting people who are different than me. You know, I just don't want to fuck with chickens. No, I want, I want goose. I want kangaroos. I want giraffes. I want lions. I want to be in a different meadow all the time meeting different species because that's how I grow the most, right? So for me, that is the answer to the question, why did the chicken cross the road? But enough about me, how about you? Because maybe you're standing on the side of the road and you're looking at the other side and you'd be like, what's on the other side? You know, what's on the other side of the road? And the answer is you don't know, you don't know. Uh, but there is a thought inside of you that has led you to the other side of the road. Now imagine you get to decide what's on the other side of the road. You can dream, right? You can have this, you can have this vision. You can have a, you can have a dream of a better life, whatever that is for you, right? And that dream is on the other side of the road. 
So then the question is, do you have the courage to cross the road? Because that's basically the question you need to answer. Because everything you want, everything you need, all your dreams are on the other side of the road. But crossing the road is not without danger, I can tell you that. It's not without danger, you know. You might end up as a roadkill. Yes, you might end up dead. You know, I see dead chickens on the road, right? So it's not without risk. But then, if fear is holding you back from crossing the road, then the ultimate destination of that fear is regret. So, I don't think you want to come to the end of your life and think about all the opportunities you had of crossing the road and you didn't do it because you were afraid and that kind of sucks. You don't want to come to your end of your life filled with regret, right? No, you don't want to do that. So, yes, this was a very weird video, I know. Thank you for watching. Thank you for making it so far. Me and the chicken like to thank you. Um, if you like the video, subscribe to the channel. Uh, like the video, share it and stuff like that. It'd be awesome. And, uh, well, see you in the next one. Much love. Bye-bye.